Hello. Before the video starts, please keep in mind that I haven't completely foolproof this method, so I don't know if it actually is possible to use this method with something like an Oculus headset or a Vive headset. I have a Valve Index, so for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to presume that you are using one as well. Also, please keep in mind that this tutorial is for experienced Windows users, so you'll be expected to know things such as navigating folders, how zip files work, and just a general understanding of your computer. If you're having any trouble, please feel free to comment and I'll do my best to help you. Thanks. OpenVR to Key is a program that allows you to trigger keyboard keys with your VR controller buttons. It's honestly very helpful, and in this video, I'll show you how you can set up the program too. I'll also go a little bit more in depth later on in the video, talking about how you can reconfigure your entire binding set so you don't have to stick with the default binding set. And even later later on in the video, I'll demonstrate what I like to use this program for when I play VR, like VR soundboards and even playing music. In any case, let's do this. To begin, download OpenVR to Key, link is in the description. Go to the releases section on the GitHub page and download the latest version. Create a folder wherever you want and name it whatever you want and then drag the contents of the zip file inside the folder. Open the program through the executable and be sure to keep it open. Now open SteamVR, make sure you're wearing your headset, your controllers are turned on, and that the SteamVR menu is not open. Now take a look at the OpenVR status indicator inside the program. Make sure that the status is connected. Go into the SteamVR and click the hamburger menu and then hit settings. At the bottom left, show the advanced settings, select controllers, and then select show old binding UI. In the UI, hit show more applications and then find OpenVR to key. Once you are in the binding config menu, select the edit button on the currently activated config, which is at the top left. Alright, now that we're at this point in the tutorial, I actually need to explain how OpenVR to key works for a moment in order for things to make sense. OpenVR to Key runs a set of custom key maps, which are designed to represent specific inputs in your VR controllers. Which all these words and numbers you see right here, that's what those are. The key maps essentially act as the bridges between the buttons on your controllers and the keys on your keyboard. In order to make sure that we get the results that we want, we need to make sure that the key maps are properly set up so that OpenVR to Key can properly read your buttons being pressed. In this video, I'm going to want to make sure that the A button on my right index controller is bound to a key map. This is the controller config menu, which is where we'll be able to view all of the current default key maps for OpenVR to key. You can see which key maps will trigger based upon which button or trigger you activate from your controllers. In the default binding setting for index controllers, the A button on the right index controller is mapped as key right 14. This means that I actually don't need to change anything in this menu, since what I want is already set by default. If you don't need to, or simply aren't interested in customizing your key maps more in depth, skip to this point in the video now. But if you are interested, keep watching. If you are going to change your key maps, I would seriously, highly recommend you write down what your key maps do, because if you have a bad memory, like I do, you'll die. Scroll to the input that you would like to edit, hover over it, and click the pencil to edit the key map. The click setting you see here is used for when you want the key map to trigger when you physically press on your button. To change your key map for pressing buttons, select the key map title on the right side of click, and then select the key map that you would like to replace it with. After you've chosen the replacement key map, be sure you hit the check mark to confirm your choices. Optionally, you can also make it so you can just touch the button you want to use instead of having to push it down. You would do the same thing you did with the click setting, except this time you would do it with touch. Now if you are going to replace the click trigger with the touch trigger, make sure that the click trigger has the option none selected, as not to accidentally create a double trigger when you both touch the button and physically press on it. Once you are done editing your new key map configuration, be sure to save, name, and then activate your config once you're done. In any case, make sure you go over the controller binding menu and make sure you know which key maps do what. You're going to need to know which they are and what they trigger in order for this to work. Now, open OpenVR to key and find the key maps that you are looking for. Like I said, I'm looking for key right 14 or key R14, which by default is the A button on the right index controller. Once you've found what you are looking for, click the giant bar area corresponding to the key, then carefully select the keyboard keys you want to be activated. Once you've made your selection, right click your mouse button to confirm your choices. If everything worked as it should, you should now have an input on your controllers that triggers keyboard keys. 
be sure to keep in mind that OpenVR to Key will not work if you have your Steam VR menu open, and the same thing applies to certain VR software such as OVR Toolkit. It won't work if you have your pointers aimed at your screen. Now here comes the fun part. What exactly can you do with this program? Well, anything that involves pressing a button, you can do. I'll let your creativity take over that one. But since this is my own video, I might as well just give you some insight on what I use the program for personally. I'm just going to give you a short little comprehensive list of what I do, starting with this one. In conjunction with a soundboard program such as Soundpad, you can actually use OpenVR to Key to create an on-demand VR soundboard. You can create and organize playlists and use the play random file hotkey to your advantage. For example, I have a playlist simply named Punch that is filled with a variety of punching sound effects. Every time I hit my A button when I'm in VR, it will play one of these sounds in a random sequence, so <laughs> I can harass anyone I want, basically. <laughs> In all seriousness though, I cannot deny that I am a huge sucker for immersion in VR. Because of that, I've become a bit of a roleplay addict. You know, at a certain point, it literally becomes a form of cheaper and sometimes even more fun version of cosplay. Open VR to Key allows me to turn any situation into a more immersive experience with a combination of sound effects. This actually leads me into another subject regarding Open VR to Key. Whenever I'm in VR, I usually like playing as characters with masks or helmets on, like, I don't know, stormtroopers from Star Wars. So, obviously, if I'm playing as a character that sounds like they have a helmet on, I'm gonna want it to sound like that the best way I can. I usually just put together a voice changer that makes it sound like I have a helmet on, but there's also something else I can do on top of that. Many characters in most media that wear helmets or communicate through radios often have what I like to call a speech switch. If you don't actually know what I'm talking about, just listen to this clip from Rogue One. Listen how every time they start and stop speaking, a sound effect plays. Hey, stop right there! He's blind! Is he deaf? I said stop right there. Open VR to Key and Soundpad allow me to recreate the same effect when I'm in VR. All I have to do is place the correct audio files in a playlist, utilize the play random file hotkey, and then I have to time my button presses every time I start and stop speaking, like this. Hey, stop right there! If you're also huge into immersion and roleplay in VR, Open VR to Key can seriously be a lifesaver, like it is awesome. What else can you do with this? Uh, oh! You can turn your controller into a freaking shuffle butter! <laughs> and one of the last things I use OpenVR to key for is muting, like in a software like Discord. Calories, 100 grams. Fat, 2 grams. Carbs, 20 grams. I'm gonna mute myself in Discord! <laughs> well, that's the end of the video. As of now, I don't actually have any tutorials planned, but hey, if you'd like to suggest something in the comments for the future, let me know. You're also free to subscribe, but just know that I focus on animations and other art projects on this channel. But if you do subscribe, from the bottom of my heart, I would really appreciate it. Oh yeah, one more thing, please be sure to check out Bull7708's other softwares. They're the entire reason this video exists, and I'm not exaggerating when I say that almost all of my good VR experiences were possible because of this person. So please check them out and tell them that they are awesome. Anyways, yeah, that's the end. Hope you liked it. Goodbye! I'm <laughs> <laughs>